Hi guys, it's Jess from Honest Fiction. Stick around to hear my April wrap up. All right guys, so April was a really weird reading month for me. I only read seven books, but of the seven, four of them were over 600 pages. Most of these are fantasy romance. There is a random young adult sci-fi in here and also a thriller. Also, if you're new to my channel, I post new videos every Tuesday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please hit that, that like and subscribe button, or you can hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. With that being said, let's get into my wrap up. All right, so if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I've already vlogged my journey through rereading the series and reading the newest book, and that is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the series. So I reread From Blood and Ash and A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, and I will link my vlog in the description and in the cards in preparation for reading The Crown of Gilded Bones. So I loved this book so, so much. Um, the from Latin Nash series follows Poppy, who is a maiden. She lives in isolation, and one day she meets this handsome member of the Rise Guard, and he is her possible escape into freedom, is the most general way I can say this. If you're familiar with my channel, I've posted numerous videos of this series. It was one of my favorite series of all time, and The Crown of Gilded Bones did not disappoint at all. I loved this book. Next up is Disenchanted by Brianna Sogolski, and this story follows Lilac, and she is a girl that has the power to speak to darklings, and in this series, darklings are pretty much any paranormal creature. So because of this, she is shunned and kind of kept in isolation, and one day she finds out that a witch can break this curse that was put upon her, so she leaves and travels and has to go through this dark wood where all the darklings are, and try to break this curse. Along the way, she meets Garen, I think is his name. If I'm wrong, I'll put it somewhere. And they kind of develop this relationship, and I loved this character. I will say this is a vampire romance. I did not know that going in, and I feel like had I known it, I probably would have approached it a little differently. I did very much enjoy this. I really liked it. Um, I loved the story. I think this is indie published, and there are a couple um, spelling errors, but like nothing too serious. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. It was a really fun story, a very unique story. When I say vampire romance, it wasn't like Twilight. Like, if you're a fan of Twilight, look, I love Twilight when I was in high school. I still kind of like it, like a little bit of nostalgia. It's not like that. It's a much more well-developed vampire romance. So yeah, definitely, if you're in the mood for a romance fantasy, check out Disenchanted. Next up is a book I actually wasn't planning on reading. However, me and my husband were looking for a movie to watch and he saw Chaos Walking and we watched the trailer and he was like, this sounds like really cool. And I'm thinking in the back of my head that this actually sounds very familiar and I feel like I've heard about it before. So I did some digging and realized that it was based off of The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, which is a series I've been wanting to check out but never have. So I read The Knife of Let Never Letting Go and I enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would um, to an extent. So I read, read this and then saw the movie. Um, I would, I would just skip the movie if I was you guys. The movie doesn't really do the book justice. But the story is about Todd Hewitt and he lives in this world that is not Earth. I don't think that's a spoiler. And men can hear each other's thoughts and they call it noise. So where Todd lives, he was born into this world, it's very noisy and all he does is hear all the men's thoughts around him. It's very hard to hide your noise and even his dog has noise. So one day he's in the woods and he hears quiet. And this is very disorienting because there's never quiet. And it turns out that this quiet is actually a girl. So his world is about to be changed forever. And all of these stories and secrets kind of unfold. And I will say this book, the action starts like on page 10, you're like hooked. Like it's just nonstop action. In this book, um, I was completely hooked. I loved it. I think I read it in like two days and it was it was very good. I didn't realize picking it up that it was young adult. You could very easily forget these characters. I think they're supposed to be like 11 and 12. You could totally forget their age and think they're like 17, 18. Like this reads very adult to me. Um, their characters, like what they think. Sometimes Todd is a little like, 
he's uneducated. So like the, when you're reading and when you're in his head, um, it's interesting the choice the writer made to, I don't know, this is very hard to describe, but I like the fact that we're in Todd's head, we're so immersed in Todd's world, and we even kind of have the education level of Todd, if that kind of makes sense. But yeah, it was a very enjoyable read. I look forward to the next one in the series. I will definitely be checking it out. But if you're in the mood for sci-fi, which is something I do not typically read, I would definitely check out The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Next up is a thriller that I just randomly picked up because I thought the cover was really pretty. I got it from Book of the Month a while ago and it's just been sitting on my shelf. And it is People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. This was an interesting time. Um, it follows an influencer mom who pretty much just posts about her family and her life constantly. It really shows you like the negative side of being an influencer and how it can impact your life. And then while this is all going on, you're also following a woman who we realize is lost someone very close to her and harbors ill feelings towards this famous influencer mom. I'm trying not to like give away any spoilers, but it was, it was something. The ending really caught me off guard. Um, I normally am pretty good at guessing twists. Did not guess uh, really anything when it came to this book. There's actually almost like a double twist that was really cool and I really enjoyed. I don't know how to feel about this book. This is why I'm really happy I kind of stopped rating books and don't rate books because I, enjoyed this while I was reading it. I thought the twists were really cool. I kind of hated the main character, but I feel like you're kind of supposed to hate the main character because she is very flawed. But also, I don't know if I'm ever gonna reread this and I don't know if I'm gonna be recommending this to people just because of like the way it made me feel. This is very similar to The Push, which I believe I've mentioned in another wrap up, where you just feel kind of like, I don't know, disturbed and disgusted at being like a human, I guess. I don't know. It just shows like the dark side of humanity, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It was okay. I think if you're in the mood for a thriller and it's definitely a unique story. I haven't read any other books that are like uh, from the perspective of like an influencer. So I would definitely check out. Maybe not definitely, but I would consider checking out People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. And the last book I'm going to be fully transparent about. I am recording this a week before the end of the month, just because my schedule, it's how it worked out. So I haven't actually finished this book yet. I'm on chapter 46 of Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight. I don't know how I feel about this book, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, chapter 46, so like a decent, I don't know if you can say, like a decent way through it. Um, yeah, it's, it's something. It's a reverse harem romance and it follows the main character who is originally kidnapped by this group of like gangster type men and then it turns out they're really not what they appear but yet they are still kind of terrible and it's it's something I'm really struggling to get through this to be honest with you. I, I'm gonna finish it because I've come this far like I really do want to finish it. It's not for me. I am not a huge fan of this book. Uh, the writing, I don't know. I don't love vulgar language constantly. Like I have no problem with cursing. I curse all the time. But um, I just, I don't want to read constant cursing for like no reason when, I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's not for me. <laughs> so unfortunately I don't love this book. Um, like I said, I will finish it and I probably will do a review video. Although I'm not even sure how I would review this book because of the content. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you even want to see a review of this book, let me know in the comments because it is, it is something. Uh, but that is it. So those are all of the books that I read in April. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. If you have read any of these books, please let me know in the comments down below. For the most part, I really enjoyed most of the books I read this month. I was very lucky. And like I said before, I post new videos every Tuesday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next week. Bye.